Hi everyone, my name is Wing, and for my project, I will be predicting basketball player position based on player stats. And sort of the motivation that I got was from the um, this term positionless basketball being thrown around. And to sort of understand what positionless basketball is, I will first explain the five traditional positions in basketball. With one being point guard, two being shooting guard, three small forward, four power forward, and five center. So typically, the bigger the number, the bigger the players are and the closer to the rim they play. So the bigger players tend to really excel in blocks and rebounds, with the smaller players being more agile and better ball handlers, and they play closer to the rim. So closer to the perimeter, excuse me. So the idea of positionless basketball is that players now can really play anywhere on the court, and they're more dynamic and don't really confine to one position. And so I thought it'd be interesting to see if I could predict um, sort of what position the players play in. So I scraped basketballreference.com and I took all NBA basketball players and their career stats, um, more specifically their per game average box scores. And that's just really a detailed game summary. And I had a total of 25 features. So my targets are uh, the five traditional positions. But after gathering my data, as you can see, a lot of players were being categorized in multiple positions. And that's because throughout the careers, different players will play for different teams and also play for different positions. But luckily, the way the positions were listed was in um, most played to least played. So I just took um, the first position for each player. And so this is sort of just the distribution of uh, the different positions. For the most part, it's pretty balanced. And in terms of data, I decided to drop some players. That's because um, I took all NBA players, so that included contract players and rookies. And some of these players have only really played a few games. And so I thought having played few games, um, their performance, their stats aren't truly indicative of their true performance. So I de decided to drop those that played less than 20 games. My data also had a lot of missing values. Not all players had all 25 stats. And also prior to 1979, three corners weren't really a thing. And the chart on the right just really shows some of the features and how much data I was missing for those. Um, it's a significant amount, but I'll talk about how I navigated those um, later on in the presentation. So immediately I looked to the five main stats and the chart just show, shows sort of what the average player looks like for each position. Um, as you can see, just from a quick glance, there might be some overlap between some players, but let's just take a closer look. Uh, looking at rebounds and steals, you can see centers and power forwards really excel in rebounds and perform so similarly. And on the opposite spectrum, point guards and shooting guards also perform very similarly. Same thing with steals, centers and power forwards are similar and shooting guards and small forwards are very similar. So um, for my models, I've tried uh, random forest as well as logistic regression. And for the confusion matrix and the rock curve that you're seeing here, it's for my baseline random forest model. But for the most part, these charts are very similar across all the different models that I've tried. So looking at the confusion matrix, you can see centers are being confused with power forwards and shooting guards are being confused with small forwards. So really the bigger players being confused with each other and the smaller players being confused with each other. Um, looking at the rock curve, the purple line is the small forward, and just intuitively, we can understand why it might be doing the poorest, given that small forwards tend to be the most versatile player on the team. So looking at our model, the left is actual targets. Uh, just for simplicity, we're looking only at centers, and the right is predicted targets. As you can see, we're getting centers mostly confused with power forwards, and the only time we ever guess it to be a smaller player is in uh, where blocks and rebounds are lower, which makes sense since the uh, smaller players, like I had said, tend to play closer to the perimeter and away from the rim. Just another quick example is shooting guards. Um, it's really getting confused with the other small players. And the only time it ever um, guesses it being a bigger player is when steals and assists are low. So looking at the Gini importance, um, it's no surprise that some of the top features are some variation of the five main stats. You do see that points are lower on the, um, the chart with three point attempts being higher. And that does make sense given that, given what position you play in, um, you might have longer range of shots for the smaller players with um, the bigger players playing closer to the rim, which tend to be two point attempts. 
So uh, with all that in mind, this is just a summary of the best models that I've gotten. And as you can see, logistic regression having dropped all NANs and three-point exchange to zeros did the best. But in terms of um, having dropped NANs, that was a significant amount. So I tried a KNN imputer and um, the best one was for logistic regression where it was 65.7% accuracy, which really isn't too far off from our best model, and which is great because I was able to use all my data. So just looking forward, um, as you can see, my model does a pretty good job at distinguishing between bigger players and smaller players. But within those categories, that's where it gets a little blurry. So I would love to incorporate more advanced analytic, advanced stats to sort of help make the distinctions a little more clear. And I would also love to consider different seasons as different players since 2012, 2013 LeBron James is clearly a very different player from our current LeBron James. Um, so this is just a quick overview of my tech stack. Uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.